The last time you were here, we were talking about your wrestling academy, Black and Brave Wrestling Academy. Um, it was full, and you were looking to start the next round. Now you're already booking for, what, next year, 2016. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we're all booked up. We just finished our second class a few weeks back, about to start our third class here in another week, and uh, taking applications for 2016 because all of our 2015 classes are filled up. So that's pretty awesome. You told us that you would anticipate you would have at least one person drop out the first day did that happen uh no actually, really we did not have any oh. we did not we had uh i want to say three or four separate pukers though awesome. on the first right. day which awesome. was pretty cool so uh, because the first day is not it may not be what you expect it's a little <laughs> it's a little um it, it, it it's not good it's, <laughs> it, it's not good I, I i like to uh it's my screening process essentially i like to bring the guys in guys and girls and and put them through a bit of a workout and get them get them make sure they're they're there for the long haul we did not have any people drop out the first day like i said we had a good three or four pukers uh and we but we had i think it was like 11 people complete the class out of 12 we did have one guy drop out but it wasn't it was a couple a couple weeks down the line. All right, that's uh, that's a lot of kids uh, also going through the uh, you know the trampoline phase when they're younger, and then the ability to come in. I would do this class in a second if it weren't for all the the well the physical heavy, activity, heavy <laughs> physical activity, and all that cardio. So if you could do, if I don't know if you're doing like levels of classes, uh, but no. if, if there was it's like driver's ed, uh, I, I, I feel like there's a there's a level of physicality to what we do that you just kind of can't avoid. So I feel like it just may maybe not your thing. All right, mm. I appreciate your honesty. Yeah, but I need somebody to you know, mop up or anything. You know? But I still want to part with my cash. What if there was a what like I? Hey, get, we'll take your cash. Uh, we'll find something for you to I do. I get so. excited when I watch SmackDown at home. What yeah. if there was like a this is the way to watch it? You set up like a like a living room. And then there's some crap there I can break when things don't go my way, and that's my class. Well, it's like it's not your stuff that you're breaking. Right. right? It's, somebody, it's somebody else's yes. stuff. Maybe it's Aunt Kim's stuff. Not <laughs> a, oh, man. No, you don't want to. You don't want to no, test the Aunt no. China. 